So now Carlos Santana. As it's grounded sharply to first. Backhanded. And he'll step on the bag himself. And the inning. Gerard Dyson will grab a bat and lead things off here in the top of the sixth. Number one, Gerard Dyson. Fastball swung on and grounded out towards second. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, A.J. Pollock. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Drops in a strike to start the at-bat, nothing and one. Boys, we see the pitch count. It's hard to remember the last time we saw a guy pitch this efficiently. Yeah, Matt, it's incredible to watch him go after guys. He's forcing a lot of early contact, and they haven't done a whole lot with the balls they put in play against him. And this is swung out and missed, so it's two up, two down to start the sixth inning. And that'll bring in the middle infielder, Cattell Marte. Boy, he's having a hard time just putting the ball in play right now. He took the hat trick with three strikeouts yesterday, and here's another one today. Looks to me like he just needs to simplify his approach and focus on making some contact. One and one to count. The one one. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. Bases are empty here with two men out. The next one two pitch. Again he sends it out of play. Tough curveball that time but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at bat going. Dribbled up the line. That's a foul ball. Neither guy given in here's the next one. And he struck him out, so he was forced to make nine pitches that at bat. But Patrick Corbin enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Number 46. So next to the plate for the Bills, Michael Franco, his career batting line with Patrick Corbin. He's gone two for eight. He's taken him deep once. Corbin, a six foot three inch left hander, he was taken in the second round back in the 2009 MLB draft. Yeah, he has turned himself into a really nice ball player. I wouldn't put him on the superstar level, but you know what? They didn't miss with this pick either. You go into high rounds and you carve out a career the way this guy has, nice pick. How about it? Patrick. Stepping into the box, Jorge Alfaro. Last time through was a base hit. There's another line drive leadoff single right now. I mean, they have an they've had an unbelievable scouting report on these pitchers today. They are finding barrels. They are not trying to do too much. Guys are staying in the big part of the field and hitting everything on the screws. Boy, d when you're starting to swing it like this team, it doesn't matter. They bring in a new relief pitcher, right? And he gets greeted with back-to-back -back base hits. Yeah, exactly. That's what you want to do. In today's day and age of bullpen down your throat, you very rarely see back-to-back -back knocks when these guys are throwing smoke. That's one of the keys, too. When you come in facing guys out of the bullpen, they're being taught to throw strikes early, and they're taking advantage of it. He's throwing strikes, and they're jumping all over him. Oh, for two for him to this point. 0 and 1 delivery. And now a soft liner here to the right side. Foul. Franco on second. Alfaro first with no outs. It's a swinging bunt up the line. That goes foul, so he stays alive with two strikes. Here comes another 0 2. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Classic slider down and away for the strike out there. Not a whole lot to say about that pitch that hasn't been said a million times already. That's just a real tough pitch for a hitter to pick up out of a pitcher's hand. So they end up chasing when they're in protect mode. He's set. Here it comes. Now a bunt attempt here, but a foul ball here, 0 and 1.
And they do have him bunting with one away as he puts this one down. There's one. On to Goldschmidt, a double play. Inning over. One left. Here's Paul Goldschmidt now, and he'll get us started in what's officially the back third of this one. Yeah, that last at bat, Daddy, he turned that fastball around. He didn't hit it a ton. He didn't hit it a country mile, but hey, listen, a home run is a home run. Just got a piece up the line. And the leadoff man in the inning will get the job done here. It's an infield single. Here's Yasmani Tomas. No hits to this point. Hey, I can only take you inside the mind of the batter right here. Had a lot of swinging bunts in my day. Soon as that ball hits the dirt in front of you, you are getting it down the first baseline. When you smell a knock, I don't care what it looks like, you are getting it down the line. Here's a swing and a high pop-up. Franco waits on it, and he makes the catch for the second out. Digging in now, Alex Avila. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Hit out towards second. And Avila's going to reach. He's got a base hit. The batter number three. Second baseman, Daniel. So coming to the plate, Daniel Descalzo. Two outs and two runners aboard here in the seventh inning. Swing and a miss, and he's behind 0-1. He struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Diamondback. Standing in, Odubel Herrera. Career batting line with Patrick Corbin. An impressive four for seven. Hit down the line at first. Uh, this gets foul, it's 0-1. The wind up and the 0-1. Down the first baseline. Fielded by Goldschmidt, and he'll step on first and south for the out. Right. Up next will be Nick Williams. He went deep for a two-run homer in his previous at-bat. First delivery to him on the way. This is pulled into right. Peralta is there, two down. Digging in once again, Cesar Hernandez. Hit the ball pretty well in his last at-bat, but it resulted in a line-out. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. On the move is Pollock. He makes the catch. What a play on. The Digging in to try it again. Nick Ahmed. We're in the eighth now, and nothing's changed out there on the mound. Well, I've been very impressed with how the starter's going about his business, Matt. He's looked really sharp, and it's hard to know if it's had any effect. But getting that early lead from his offense could have really helped settle him in. Ground ball left side. There is Franco. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Jeremy Hazelbaker will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number 41. Fastball that gets the inside corner. Strike one. Popped him up. Hernandez over to his right. And that's the second out of the inning. Back to the top spot in the Arizona lineup now and stepping in, A.J. Pollock. And they're down to their final four outs here, Dan. Yeah, and it's not looking too good for them right now, Matt. They've got a significant hill to climb, but they've got to take it one bat at a time. A couple of guys get on, and then who knows what could happen. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. So one, two, three. Brad Boxberger is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eight. And that'll bring up the Sacramento product, Reese Hoskins. He's two for three with a home run and a double. Line drive to center field. Pollard is right there, one down. Jumped all over that first pitch of the inning, and he didn't miss it. Just wasn't able to steer it in a direction that resulted in a leadoff hit. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. With this one almost in books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D-World, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, 
it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. And that's into the outfield for a one-out base hit. The relay, and he's going to make it there. Barely as he's in the second base with a double. Let's take another look at just a textbook swing right there. Good weight transfer, good hands to the ball, solid contact, and great extension through the ball. Yeah, that's about as pretty as a swing gets. Nice look at it there from our camera guys as well. Leaps high as he makes the catch. Well done. Now batting. Standing in, Jorge Alfaro. Runner in scoring position with Sugan. First delivery to him on the way. And that changeup makes him jump, a swing and a miss. Weak chopper up the line. Foul ball, strike two. Six runs, 11 hits, and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. High in the air into shallow left center. Marte ranging into the outfield. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire. Back at the home of the Phillies, Citizens Bank Park, as you get a look there at the famous City Hall here in Philadelphia. Grounded back up the middle. And this will make its way into center field for a base head, and the leadoff man's aboard now to open the ninth. Here's Paul Goldschmidt now. So far, two for three in this one. Broken bat as this ball's hit on the ground. And he won't even think about second as he'll flip on to first for the shoe out. And you know, guys, if this bat doesn't break, it's probably a double play ball, but that just wasn't happening here. Good job to make sure of one, though. And the indication from the dugout comes. It looks like they're going to put him on intentionally. So that'll set up the double play possibility with one away. Well, they felt it was better to take the bat out of the hands of a guy like that. He's just too dangerous. And they decided they'll take their chances with the next guy in the lineup. Now at the plate, David Peralta. And these guys are making a little push here. You have to like the effort despite the odds. Yeah, you really do, Matt. Look, they still have a significant hill to climb, but hey, they string a couple of hits together here, and all of a sudden, this thing feels doable. And he will knock this ball down. And the effort pays off as he's able to recover and get the second out of the inning. The catcher, number five, Alex. Here's the catcher, Alex Avila, and he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. Lifted the other way down the left field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. Swing and a drive to right. There it goes. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. Into the box, Daniel Descalzo. As the first pitch to him is in there for a cold strike one. As we near the end of this one, it's clear the long ball has played a big role in today's outcome. Dan Dero, what are your final thoughts on what we've seen? Yeah, just non-competitive pitches in some big situations, Dan, and the offense took full advantage. Yeah, you know, Dero, one of the things about pitching is you want to have location, and it was obvious in this one today that the pitchers weren't on point, and what happens when that happens? Hitters make you pay, and the long ball was a big part of this one here. A 6-4 to four finish in tonight's affair. The Philadelphia Phillies took the lead in the second inning and rode that in.